So there was one time where somebody actually social engineered me into giving them one of my passwords. This happened face to face. No, it's not clickbait. It really happened. And unfortunately, it was probably one of the most embarrassing moments of my life. Uh, but it did happen a few years ago. So now I kind of look back and laugh. But man, at the time when it happened, I was extremely embarrassed. So this was a few years ago when I was working as an intern and kind of like a cybersecurity position at the company. I was probably a sophomore in college, so I had a little bit of cybersecurity experience just from like doing CTFs and things like that, but really nothing major. But I certainly was not someone who was, you know, had no technical experience and had no idea what social engineering was. I, I definitely was aware. Uh, so this just goes to say, you know, even if you do work in the industry, this could potentially happen to you as it did to me. Anyways, while I was working as an intern at this company, one day we were supposed to go have this big meeting with an external vendor. And I was going to this meeting with my boss and my boss's boss. And at that level, we're talking like C-level executive of the company I was working for. So, you know, I was pretty nervous going to a big business meeting like that. It was something that I had never done before. And, you know, being around people like that at that, you know, upper level, I was I was pretty nervous. I'm someone who's definitely more of an introvert and more into technology. I know, surprise, surprise. Uh, and, you know, kind of social gatherings like that are not really my thing. So I tend to get a little nervous anyways. So we get to this building. We're supposed to have the meeting. We're in this conference room and it's me, my boss, my boss's boss, and this guy named Mike, who is from the vendor company. And we're sitting at this little round table and I plug my laptop into the projector because I'm supposed to be putting something on screen about an application that I was supposed to set up and have working before the meeting. Now, when the time for the meeting came, I thought everything was working properly with this application I was supposed to deploy, but lo and behold, it wasn't. So now I'm thrown off even more. I'm already nervous being at the meeting, uh, but now I'm nervous because I feel embarrassed that the thing I was supposed to have prepared is not working the way I thought it was. So luckily, the guy, uh, Mike, from the other company was helping me troubleshoot some of these steps. So, you know, my laptop is on the projector, everyone's looking, and, um, you know, Mike's going back and forth with me trying to edit some of the configuration files, trying to help me get this set up. And I was super appreciative. I thought he was really being awesome helping me out. And, uh, you know, because sometimes as an intern, people don't necessarily... Uh, you know, take you too seriously. So it was awesome to have someone from an external company giving a lot of respect and, and helping me out. Part of changing these configuration files, I had to keep SSHing into my server, entering the password. And then when we were trying to change some of the configuration files using sudo, of course, we were prompted for a password again. So what would happen is, you know, Mike was helping me. He was looking at some of the config files. He would type in, you know, sudo vim, the config file name. It would be prompting for my password. And he would send the laptop over to me and say, hey, can you please put your password in here? Sure. So I put my password in. All was good. And then a few minutes later, of course, when you try to run a command with sudo again, it kind of hits a timer and you've got to enter your credentials again. So this goes on, you know, four or five times. We're kind of troubleshooting some things, working through some problems. And we get to one point, but still not working properly. There's, there's something wrong with it. And I'm having a conversation with my boss who is sitting to the left of me. And uh, Mike slides the laptop over. He typed in sudo fam, the config file, and it's prompting for my password. I look at the screen. I see that little prompt, say, okay. And I, I'm still kind of chatting with my boss, looking to the side. And I go to enter my password in, and my boss is looking at the projector. Uh, but, you know, I'm still kind of looking over towards him, typing in my password, going to give the laptop back to Mike. And then I realize right before he slid the laptop to me, he hit control C and canceled the prompt. So I ended up typing my password out in the terminal in plain text on a projector in front of my boss and my boss's boss. And it was just so embarrassing. And, you know, you look around the room and, and you could just kind of see everyone kind of smirking. It looked like people realized what was going on. Of course, I mean, I just typed my password in on a projector uh, in this conference room. So uh, it was so awful. And, you know, Mike's laughing, my boss is laughing. And uh, he basically, Mike just looked at me and said, go change your password. And uh, I mean, at least my password was nothing bad. It wasn't like I hate my job or anything like that. But just doing that in front of everyone was so embarrassing. And 
And it was really, it was really smart looking back. He definitely primed me for it, you know, kind of built up the trust of, of doing it a few times, having me answer my credentials in legitimately, legitimately a few times. So I trusted him and I kind of didn't expect anything. And, you know, since I was already thrown off that day, I was already nervous and on edge when I was talking to my boss and I kind of built that level of, of trust and comfort with uh, you know, typing in my credentials to edit these config files. It just took one time where I wasn't paying an, enough attention to realize that that prompt message got canceled, that when I went to put those credentials in, I ended up typing in my password on the projector screen. That was very embarrassing. And after that day ended, I was like, oh man, I, at least I'll never have to relive this again. And uh, at least that's done and over with. It was super embarrassing, but it's in the past, right? We all make mistakes and nobody really gave me a hard time about it. You know, it wasn't like anything like that. It was just funny. Uh, and even, you know, I had some laughs, but it was more of like, oh yeah, it was funny, but yeah, I'm still embarrassed. That happened about, you know, three years ago, like I said, and a year ago, I end up getting a call from that same guy, Mike. And uh, he actually offered me my first pen testing job. So he ended up hiring me as a penetration tester after all of that even. And uh, I still work for him to this day. So I still live with the memory of <laughs> entering my password in on the projector screen in front of him before I ever worked for him. Uh, so now it's a pretty funny joke and uh, something I look back at and laugh now. So yeah, there's the story of how I was social engineered into giving up one of my passwords. Still probably one of the most embarrassing moments of my professional career, but I hope you could at least have a good laugh at me and realize how much of an idiot I was. And I hope you learned from this story and the big takeaway is never trust anybody, no matter how nice they seem. Uh, everyone is awful and you should use MFA in case someone steals your password. Anyways, if you enjoyed this story and you'd like to see more of my content, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.